Hello, I'm Charles Severance, and I want to share with you uh, my recent improvement to my uh, set of Sugi libraries. Sugi, of course, is my set of tools and environments that are trying to make it as easy as possible to build tools that plug into learning management systems. And uh, my previous uh, code that's out there and actually pretty mature uh, called Sugi, it's a PHP-based framework, and uh, I'll show it to you. Uh, what I'm introducing today is um, that's Sugi Java, right? So it's a Java library. I don't have all of it done for Java, but I do have uh, a Java library. And the basic idea of the Sugi Java is that um, I want to be able to make a really simple servlet and have a set of APIs that capture the basic learning tool data. Um, and so if you take a look at the um, the Java Sugi Java Docs, you see that <clears throat> it's a it's a it's a way of building a servlet that you know calls a factory, gets this Sugi thing, asks helps set up the output, what's the student's name, what's their address, the kind of things that you get from web services and LTI and the result service. And I have this all captured in a um, a set of interfaces for the context caliper. That's a, launch data, the link data, an output helper. This is a helper that helps you develop consistent output, the result service for grades, settings, et cetera, et cetera, and user information. And so if you take a look, for example, at the user, you see the display name and the email and the primary key within Sugi, whether or not they're instructor or not. So there is all these things that make it possible to build a Java application in Sugi. And, um, Probably the best thing that I've got is a fully working servlet. Um, and this servlet in its readme has you know, both the source code, which I'll show you in a moment, but it also shows that you have to, in, to run this servlet, um, you've got to install a PHP Tsugi because that makes database tables and acts as a launch thing. I'll show that to you in a second one. Second, and you've also got to in, uh, download and compile the Java Sugi library because I don't have that in like a Maven repository yet, but I will eventually get that in a Maven repository. But for now, you got to compile it so it's in your local library. And then pretty much you start it and we tell you how to start it. Um, and so the source code for this, just to give you a sample of what it is, it's just it's trying to be as clean of a servlet. It doesn't use Spring or Hibernate or JPA. It uses a simple factory pattern. So as an example, um, I'll, I allow this to be injected, but, it, but at the end of the day, you get a thing called a Tsugi, um, which is a factory for launch sessions, basically. Um, and, but you do this once, and, um, and then in a post request or a get request, you ask Tsugi to say, hey, get me launch information. Now, this may be coming from the session. It may be coming from an LTI launch request. Who knows what, but it's all one way or another provisioned, and the launch sometimes does a redirect i.e if it started with a post it, the launch request it'll get redirected and you just stop at that point because that says that somewhere in the tsugi library it's taking care of everything and then if something went wrong um <clears throat> it puts out a, a an error message if it's not valid and this happens to be the post data here's an example of a get where we go get the launch check to see if it's something's happened if it's uh, not valid, we put out a message pulling things like error message and base string. And this is a simple use of the output helper. Um, in order for you to be, for a tool to get things like navigation injected um, from outside in, in uh, stylistic consistency, we do things like don't emit things like the header or the other things that you have places. And so this little output helper is a way of making output consistently consistency and then output consistency and we have ways of getting the course title and getting the course settings or um, getting a database connection and doing something with the database connection um, so that's that's basically it and um, and so so that's that's basically the idea and here at the sugi java servlet the readme is really the way you get this thing going so you've got to check out the php sugi you got to check out the Java Tsugi library, which is this right here. The Java Tsugi library is all the library code. So you just Maven install that and away you go. 
Um, the test harness wants the database to be there, so if you're running the tests, you need to have the database there. So you want to have installed PHP Sugi before this works so that the unit tests uh, run successfully. So when you've done all that, uh, let me add So when you've done all that, you have this SUGI database with things like the context and the key and all this stuff. And this is used by PHP SUGI and created by PHP SUGI. And uh, there's all these mechanisms. Java SUGI uses exactly the same data model, exactly the same. And you actually can point both PHP SUGI and Java SUGI at the exact same MySQL database and they'll play well together. They won't duplicate data. They will, they will they update and manage the core LTI data the same, the exact same way. So you can have a mix in one database of Java and PHP applications. And because I don't have a launcher, even though you could launch this with any LTI launcher, I have built into the, um, here's the, I hope I remember the password on this. So that this has all the administrator tools to do things like upgrade the database, check the nonces and manage access keys, yada, yada, okay? And so that's all the PHP code. I eventually will write that in Java, but for now I don't want to. I just want to just knock this library out, which I think is the coolest part of it. So I, you go into developer mode of Tsugi, you might have to type a password here, and the Java servlet can be launched just like all of the Java, the PHP tools. So there's that PHP map tool, and then here is the sample Java servlet, and it's just doing an LTI launch to it. Oh, wait, I forgot to start it. That's okay, then I can show you how to start it. So here we go. CD applications map htdocs um, cd uh, Java. This is the library, maven clean install. That compiles that and also runs the unit test. As I mentioned, the unit tests actually talk to the database. I've got it testing stuff in the database. It doesn't harm the database. You don't want to run the unit tests on production. And then you go into, I've got these, in, I don't check these out together because at the end of the day, you're going to write your own servlet. You don't want my sample servlet. You could fork my sample servlet and in the readme, there is the maven command. We can run it right from the command line using Jetty. So this will compile it. It's actually pulling in the library. And now Jetty is up and running. So let's go back to the web browser and do another launch. And there we are. And so what we have is outside is PHP. This is the Java code. And that's the Java code. And these are just like I'm testing all the URLs and calls to the various objects, et cetera, et cetera. Um, this little count thing goes up if we click. It's all doing a recession real establishment. You can do posts. And so this is all in the sample code that kind of kind of works you through it. And, um, and away you go. And you can just use all the features of uh, switching identities um, because now all of a sudden we are um, a student. And then we'll be Ed, hopefully Ed's email, you know, Ed's email changes. And we can do all the quick and easy development that the PHP SUGI allows us to do. One of these days I'll also write a Java version of this little development environment. It's not that hard to write. It's just a bunch of form data and you sign it and post it to the, the LTI tool. So thank you uh, and uh, we'll see you on the net if you have any questions. I would love to hear from people who start to play with this and find it useful. Thanks.